Hey guys, Sammy Lee here. What's up, it's Darren from uh, Soul Brothers. Okay, so we got uh, we got five here. Yeah, and then they're or in, in order of the most expensive to the cheapest one. Right, so this ball here is 20 bucks from Costco. Okay, and this ball here is 140 I think right now. 140? Yeah, from uh, uh, Sports Authority. Sports Authority? Um, this is the actual NBA ball, so this is what uh, uh, professional NBA players use to play basketball. Right, okay, and now this, um, the only ball, these are all a composite leather, uh, which means they're obviously fake leather. This is the only real leather, real leather ball, um, and that's why, it's, uh, that's why it's more expensive. Um, and they actually use really, really high-grade um, leather for the balls. There's a whole process they do. They've been doing it for the longest time. Mm -hmm. um, now, does price does price mean that it's a better ball? I don't think so. I I, I don't really think so either. Um, let's talk about what balls are actually used at, like, say, a 24-hour fitness. That's where we play. That's where okay. most people play indoors. Right. These are all indoors ball indoor balls. This is an indoor outdoor ball. Um, I actually use it for uh, when I play outdoors. Mm -hmm. I haven't really used that used it that much because I don't play outdoors that much. But the most used ball is the Evo. Yeah. The Wilson Evolution. So okay, so this is the official NBA ball right here. These are both the official um, college, basketball. college basketballs. Different divisions use the di uh, use different balls. Okay. This is the official NCAA ball. And I forget which college divisions use this airlock uh, Nike Elite ball, mm -hmm. but these are both uh, official college balls. Okay, and this is the official, the Wilson Evolution, the, or the Evo, is the official 24-hour fitness ball. <laughs> the official. If you come to any uh, pickup game with any of these other balls, people will spit in your face. Yeah, they don't like have, it. You, you gotta, gotta have, have the, the Evo. Wilson e uh, Evo. Yeah. And then this is for amateurs right here. Yeah. This is for noobs so. trying to get into basketball. You go pick up a twenty dollar ball, but it works. You know, it does work, and it's decent. It's got a pretty decent little feel to it. I use it outdoors, and it's actually a, a horrendous outdoor ball. Oh yeah. Because the dust just gets on it, and it's just you're slipping everywhere, and there's no grip on it. But maybe it'll break in outdoors after a little bit. Uh huh. Um, let's talk about which which balls, uh, which basketballs we prefer. Okay. So which which one is you, you've played with all these? Which one is your favorite out of all of these? Um, my favorite would have to be the Nike Elite Airlock, and um, for me, this ball is the most comfortable. It has the most cushion right here, and uh, has the best feeling. Right. right. I, yeah. I like playing with this one, and then um, after that, it will have to be the Evo. Mm -hmm. Right. What about you? Okay, for me. Uh, my number one favorite ball is the Wilson uh, NCAA Solution, uh -huh. official uh, college ball. Second would have to probably be the official NBA ball. Mm -hmm. I actually really, really like the official NBA ball. Now, what happens is you buy the official NBA ball and it's super rough. It feels horrible. feels like one of the worst basketballs you've ever used. Um, but just like most leathers you need to break it in so the break in time is you're looking at maybe uh if you're playing every day a couple months yeah you know yeah. and if you're not playing every day it could take six months to a year you know the, the official nba um basketball is kind of like a, you know it's kind of like more of a fine wine uh -huh. you know what i mean it, it ages and it starts getting color um when i first got it i I read online a little bit about it and I, I uh, got like a nice leather conditioner, put that on it. Um, but direct statements from Spalding says the only way to break it in is just to play with it. Mm -hmm. There's really nothing else you can do. You just got to put the hours on it. Yeah. Um, and it, is, it is a little slippery though. So like it's slippery. You, yeah, so you have to wet your hands with like, yeah. your sweats. You just go like this and then you play with it. This, this is the best ball when it comes to absorbing liquid, absorbing sweat. So when you're sweating and you get a little bit of sweat on the ball, it gets more sticky, it doesn't get slippery. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the Evo, which you get some little bit too much uh, sweat on there and it's just, just sliding around everywhere. Yeah. So this ball, that's why I used to see Steve Nash playing and he's always, he comes up 
right to the top of the key, starts licking his hands because yeah. yeah. he's about to shoot uh -huh. or you know pass. So he's trying to get a good grip on the ball. Mm -hmm. and another thing you see professional players do is they, oh yeah, yeah, they moisten up their hand with their breath mm -hmm. to get a little better grip on the ball. Yeah. But once you learn to to use the ball, it feels you get a really good feel for it, and it's like a really nice. Um, it's not too spongy. Most of these, most of all of these rest of these balls are, are pretty spongy, right? There's a yeah. lot of um, there's a lot of squeeze to them, and it's nice. But when you learn to to really use the NBA ball, uh, there's something about it that people fall in love with, and and I, I kind of did as well. Mm -hmm. So you know that that'd be my second. My third is uh, the Evo. Mm -hmm. And that's just because, you know, I'm forced to play with it so much at 24 Hour Fitness. You got, you got used to it. It's been forced upon me. And it, it, but it is a really good ball. And um, bang for your buck, this is the ball. Yeah. All right. I mean, like, for me, um, for these two balls, the Evo is really light compared to this. So when I switch in between balls, um, my shot gets messed up. Right. Because this feels heavier. Right. And then, um, so I, all, all of my shots are short with this ball. So I don't know um, what it is, but this is the official ball for college basketball, right? One of the official balls. So I wonder if like the Evo is kind of messed up. You think it is? No. No? It, it, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a little different, you know? It's a little different. Um, there's also the TF-1000, which oh, we yeah. don't have with us which is kind of the official high school ball, I think maybe uh -huh. in some divisions, but um, that's also a pretty good ball. Um, uh, we just don't have it on us. Um, but this Wilson is pretty much, this, this NCAA solution is pretty much the same as the Evo, except it's a little stickier, right? When it's, you know, when it's brand new. Um, and it has a moisture absorbing cover. So they have this technology that they're using with this synthetic that um, actually absorbs sweat pretty well, as opposed to the Evo, it gets really slippery. Mm -hmm. This actually will get a little little more sticky with given you should put a little bit of sweat on it. Yeah. Now all these balls, if you put too much, if you get too much sweat on it, they're all gonna slip. There's yeah. nothing you can do. Of course. You know what I mean? But, um, so, uh, and then we got them ranked price wise Mm -hmm. If I had to suggest someone a ball uh, for indoor use, for indoor use, um, it's just it's gonna be the Evo. Um, everybody wants to play with it. You can get it at um, uh, Walmart for around forty four, forty five dollars, uh -huh. um, and you're getting a really high quality ball for that price. These two balls are both seventy bucks, right? So they're a little they're a little pricey. This is twenty bucks, but um, you know, another thing I want to talk about with these balls is um, uh, is how evenly they bounce. Uh, yeah. Okay, so when I first got this NBA ball, um, I started dribbling with it and it was just bouncing all over the place. There was like little hard spots in it and it just felt totally lopsided. Um, once I broke the leather in, it is so precise of a bounce. Mm -hmm. it is, there's, it's so um, even. Um, yeah, I, I love it. And then the other balls, these three balls come out of the box just ready to go, ready to use. Mm -hmm. No um, breaking time. No breaking time. However, for like about a month or maybe a few weeks, depending on how much you play, they will get a little bit better. Oh, yeah. They will break in a little bit and get a little bit better, mm -hmm. but they're still ready to go out of the box. This ball is just... Don't just yeah. don't don't get this ball. Yeah, I don't know why we have this ball here. Yeah. I don't know what we did. Uh, <laughs> From but, Costco, uh, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. But um, if it's all you can afford. Shit, get it. You know, is if you're gonna use it for outdoor, that's why I got it. Twenty bucks for an outdoor ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this ball was just totally lopsided, bouncing around everywhere. Um, so yeah. All right. So the other thing is is air pressure. So. On all these balls, it says to inflate in between seven to nine pounds, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so what I do with all my basketballs is I usually have them around eight, eight pounds. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time at the gym, most of the players, most everybody's ball is about, um, I would say around seven pounds, maybe even less. People like them really flat. I don't like them that flat. Um, and what you can do is you can get this little uh, pressure gauge 
It's got the built-in uh, needle for the ball. Uh, I got this off of eBay for I think like uh, we'll put the link in the description. Okay. I got it for like around ten bucks. Uh -huh. uh, it's made by Tachi Kara. It's pretty simple, and it comes with a little valve that you can release pressure. So you know you grab a ball. Usually you wanna just wet the tip a little bit. That's what she said. And then uh, and then you can see right here on the gauge. Right, pretty simple, pretty standard. It's showing right now seven pounds. I haven't played with this for a while. Um, and you can just release some pressure and then pump it back up if you want more pressure. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, standard. I would stick to around eight pounds of pressure. Um, but also after a while, if, you know, if you're a pretty experienced player, you can kind of just feel if it feels good. Yeah, it feels you can bounce flat. it and like, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, that concludes our uh, review for what is our favorite basketball, right? And what is the best price that you can buy these best basketballs at. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. We got a lot more videos coming, all yeah. kinds of stuff, basketball related, shoes, clothing. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. And let us know any other videos you guys wanna see uh, that might pertain to you know basketball, shoes, uh, working out. So um, this is Don and Sam from Soul Brothers. We'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, Sammy Lee here. What's up? It's Don from uh, Soul Brothers. Okay, so we got uh, we got five here. Yeah, and then they're or in, in order of the most expensive to the cheapest one. Right. So this ball here is twenty bucks from Costco. Okay, and this ball here is 140 I think, right now. 140? Yeah, from uh, uh, Sports Authority. Sports Authority? Um, this is the actual NBA ball, so this is what uh, uh, professional NBA players use to play basketball. Right, okay, and now this, um, the only ball, these are all a composite leather, uh, which means they're obviously fake leather. This is the only real leather, real leather ball. Um, and that's why it's uh, that's why it's more expensive, um, and they actually use really really high grade um, leather for the balls. There's a whole process they do it. They've been doing it for the longest time. Mm -hmm. um, now, does price does price mean 